Good morning. Revive us again. In 2 Timothy chapter 1, we read, Fan into flame the gift of God which is in you. Revivals are a, a thing of the past. I've heard that many, many times. And I suppose if we think about revivals as special meetings with an evangelist, then there are certain aspects of revivals that are things of the past. But revival itself? Hardly. Paul was a believer in personal revival. On a previous occasion, he had already written to Timothy, Do not neglect the gift you have. He urged him to give proper attention to his soul to introspection and to correction. Apparently, Paul thought that his beloved son in the faith still needed a reminder, for he wrote again for Timothy to fan into flame the gift of God which is in you. I like what J. Glenn Gould wrote in Beacon Bible Commentary. He said, there is a, a perennial need in the hearts of all Christians, and especially in those who are cast in the role of leaders of the church. Our constant danger is the lessening of our ardor and the slackening of our pace. Periodically, we need to seek renewal of our commitment and to reaffirm loyalty. This is the basic meaning of revival, and it must come periodically to us all. Let us sing from our hearts today. Hallelujah, thine the glory. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, thine the glory. Revive us again. Pray with me. Oh, Father, help me to fan into flame the gift of God's grace that is in my heart. Revive me, O oh Lord. Amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful day and may God revive your soul.